New developments in the case involving the death of an off-duty Boston police officer. His girlfriend is charged with second-degree murder, but her lawyers are arguing that she is the innocent victim of a cover-up. Now the DA's office is firing back. Five Investigates' Karen Anderson is here with the latest volley in this heated case, Karen. Well, Maria, lawyers for Karen Reed didn't hold back when they accused police and prosecutors of conspiring to blame an innocent woman. Well, in court documents filed today, the DA's office says they have their facts all wrong. John O'Keefe's battered body was found outside a Canton home in January of 2022. The DA says Karen Reed hit him with her SUV and left him to die in the cold. But last month, Reed said in court filings that the charges were a sinister cover-up to help the real perpetrators, the officer who owns the home and his relative. Now the DA is rebutting those accusations. The defense's most explosive claim, that relative had used her cell phone to search how long to die in cold, some three and a half hours before O'Keefe's body was supposedly discovered, suggesting she knew O'Keefe had been left outside to die. But the DA says the defense is just misreading phone data and that the search was not conducted until after O'Keefe's body was found and it was Reed herself who asked for the search. The defense also says O'Keefe wasn't hit by a car, that he was severely beaten and left for dead. Plus, they said he had bite and claw marks, most likely from the German shepherd that was at the Canton home. But the DA says that's not true either. They cite a doctor with the medical examiner's office who observed no signs of Mr. O'Keefe being involved in any type of physical altercation or fight, adding the scratches were caused by a blunt object. Now, these are just some of the points being argued about right now, and it's all headed to a court hearing this Wednesday. Live in the newsroom, Karen Anderson, Five Investigators. Karen Anderson, thank you for that.